Uh, thoughts on this game as well as the overall series? Well, EG right now are thinking, damn, we should have level one Roche. They're not coming. They're not checking it. Why did we level one Roche, guys? They'll come now. MP. Oh, hello. <laughs> hey, guys. Beautiful. Get out of there, boys. <laughs> it's a trap. Savage Raw is the big problem here. You've got to try and play and maneuver and, around it. And while this is happening, again, Fear is looking to make a move on mid. He's trying to set up. He's going to roll in simultaneously. They converge on Universe. They get the Hex off. It looks like two potential kills. QO, very low in the mid lane. One more auto attack. Oh, he lives! Barely the boy that lived. Early regen in here for Fabian. They're going to make another play in the bottom lane, but at the same time in the mid lane, QO is going to get caught up. Pops the Fairy Fire. This time, EG will get the kill. And sure the core doesn't QO. die. Yeah. But. Cute play there by Arteezy, just using the minimal range blink to dodge away from an impetus. But it does mean he can't make a move here bottom. So, how do you feel if you're MVP? Really bad start. You know EG's very likely to get the next Roche, but you haven't been feeding. Yep. Well, until well. now, maybe. <laughs> or have Spirit Siphon. There's Whoa. the stun, though. Maybe they can turn this. Vector Hawk comes in for it. It's not dead, just hit the urn. Just enough to take him down. Sumail, though, keeps himself alive, throwing himself up in the air, but they get the kill. They end the exorcism. They could look for more MVP. Dagger onto PPD and diving for this. Arteezy just TP bottom, so they know he can't come to the fight. That's their biggest damage dealer not participating. MVP, great decision making there. Yeah. Make it five to seven. So many teams in that position would have just let their enchantress die. Looking for his next victim, but meanwhile, top MVP about to get caught out. It looks like MP so close to his radiance. He's going to get silenced. Fembi also silenced. Can't save the Spectre. That will delay it by 300 gold, plus the lost farming time. Fembi also going to go down here. A big grab for EG. Two crucial kills, and while that was happening in the mid lane, Arteezy uh -oh. found a third. That's almost just like high ground time in some way. Not completely over, but... It's pretty massive, the yeah. advantage they've piled up. Very hard game for 4F to do much. He's 0 for an Enchantress, and that's just because of how much EG's They're going to fight here. Crazy. They're moving in. They hot and engage. They want to surprise EG. Fear rolls away. MP jumping in the middle of the EG lines, and on the Universe, he's going to go, but Big Daddy Earth is coming. They lock down MP. There's the swap out. Keep him in fighting shape. Can they find the kills? Blink forward. They do get the Hex and to try to lock Arteezy down. Control him for now. QO's fight strikes first, killing off the Crystal Maiden before him. Locked in position. Clawed apart by Arteezy. And with the buyback, it's going to be a power play now for EG. EG reached their base with Exes and they're going to lose a Rax. And now that's what's going to happen because the fight, unfortunately for MVP, they didn't get the kills. They couldn't bring down Sumail. He's just too tanky at this stage with the Soul Booster on top of the Yul's Atos. And oh, they do at least have the Battle Fury here, though. So you can see the chip damage. Slowly but surely, Kyo trying to work these backline heroes down and force them out. They catch Arteezy. They're going to look to lock him down, but he manages to get off the ultimate. Starts going to work with the Bashes. They'll crack the Ages, but they've lost three. The other two scramble back towards the well. And this leaves EG to just beat the crap out of Arax. They'll grab the melee. They look now onto the ranged. MVP playing from a massive deficit. And QO moves in. He's, got, he's seen the Crystal Maiden, but he wants someone else. The chains don't connect, but they still commit the haunt. Driving onto PPD. This could be a dieback on the Crystal Maiden for whatever that's worth. But everybody else making it back. They, QO wants they now to go Savage in. He Roar, knows how, how important Drawing is. MVP away from this, and QO is going to get silenced. They're going to swap in the Spirit Bear of all things, just so Dubu can get off a stun. Forev almost dying instantly to Arteezy. He already used this Abyssal Blade, but now they've got them on the run. No buyback on the Ember Spirit. He's down and out for the count, and frantically they beam themselves back to safety. Yeah, not only did he know they needed to go all, all in on the fight, but they couldn't just settle for a Crystal Maiden kill. He didn't even bother going for PPD. He had vision, but went for the bigger, higher priority targets. Didn't work out. And now MVP are absolutely up against it as Arteezy jumps in again. Dubu there with the swap. Arteezy lets out his frustration on the Vengeful Spirit, and she won't stand against it long. Now a second melee rack, almost guaranteed to drop here for the side of Dagger coming in. But do they follow this up? PPD's low. MP being forced back, though, and MP trying to get to work here, and Artur might be able to kill off the Ursa. That could be pretty nice for them. They silence QO, though, preventing the Slight of Fist, and he will, in the end, drop it already. The melee has fallen. They need more kills. Justin Ursa's not enough for two lanes of rank, but the Ghosts are returning, bringing Sumail back. Ursa's the distraction. HP He's not even pool. the important hero. It's the lone druid and the DP who are the, the key heroes right them. now for EG. They're chasing. Remnant forward. He's going to find two here. QO with the big catch and MP rejoining oh, the fight. What a TP. They're looking two for more, out. but he gets away. Only fear going down. So I imagine if you're QO as well, you're thinking like maybe even rapier. straight rapier here. Yep, rapier, absolutely. Not even a risky play. Probably the only play. But oh, well, no plays oh, for QO. 
TP's out on the high ground. Yeah. It just gets ripped to bits. Okay. This could be big. They're going to BOT in the Ember Spirit looking for their first pickoff. But Fear gets the kickoff and it connects on three. Huge one there from the old man. Gets the silence off, dropping the Magnetize into Mail. Starts to press forward. Four heroes affected by it. Afflicted even. And QO having just BOT'd in. Doesn't have a great way out. Down he goes. No buyback there in the Ember Spirit. In the trees as well. Your Venge has been entangled. Thrown up in the air. Pounded back down under the earth. Two more crucial deaths with no buyback. And it looks like any second now. We'll see another kill. A big jump in. Lying down. 4M trying to get work done. He's going to double defuse him just before the Ghost Scepter. That pops a second. Securing the kill. An immediate buyback from 4M. But it's, it, over, it's, 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 it's just all too over. much. The damage is overwhelming. The advantage, ridiculous. Arteezy pops the cheese. He laughs at MP's face. He'll make short work of him here. This Korean squad has come a long way, but EG get the best of them in game one. One last buyback for whatever it's worth. Very little in the end. EG had their number from start to finish. So it's trailing a one in the best of three. EG just had such a scary timing this game. Yeah, it's, it's kind of the new way to play the Broodmother that we saw Vega Pioneer going back to SO1 where she comes to fight. She doesn't just flip push. She takes over the enemy jungle, joins the mid or even Roshan engagements depending on what side of the map you're on. And meanwhile, bottom lane, Arteezy trying to fight it out here. Fear again with the kick. There's the Fissure to counterplay it, but Arteezy locks onto Dubu. He's going to find one. He claps Febby. Might be getting a second here momentarily. Tornado EMP can turn the tides of this fight, though. Arteezy low. Gets off a couple last swipes, but will end up dropping MVP. They need to snowball this one. They will bring down the refraction of Sumail, this but can they dive MVP further? Heroes. Like, this is not even Brute's a good still exchange top. for them. Level 11. Roll forward, there. bottom lane. Go for the kick. Will get caught by a tornado. But PPD's there with the deny. EMP coming through. And then Sumail with an aggressive blink. Working on MP. 4M does have an Echo Slam. Doesn't want to use it yet. Wants to break through this refraction first. This leaves Dubu in a bad position. Slowed down by the Crystal Maiden. Shredded by Arteezy. Another kill for EG. And now they see their opening. They want a Roche. Ursa TA. This is about as fast as it gets at this stage of the game. It's already a level 3 meld. Can he turn the tides of this game? It feels like they have to contest this Roche. A tornado spins through. Arteezy continuing to stack up the Fury Swipes. It's a very difficult engage. Another Fissure, but that allows Sumail to blink onto Forev. Even the Golems being turned against him. And now Universe arrives. Where did he come from? From top to bottom, he runs. And Forev will TP away. Uh, just make it out in the end, but still the Aegis going to Arteezy. EG hunting back Dubu with an army of Spiderlings. Fourth two oh, zero in a row here. He's been caught in the mid lane and speaking oh, about quick. QO, speaking of getting caught out, he's out of mana here. The man that can't afford to die is the man that will. EG, 12 to 2. Let's see if the geniuses see it coming. Well, we'll universe this. farming ancients for now. Smoke about to expire and it will break and they dust universe. They get the echo off. They lock down the brood mother. They get the kill MVP. Oh, fast play from 4F there. Very oh. fast fingers. Uh, he's got BKB. What's he going to go? And the enchantress that died exit. earlier is uh, coming. Ooh, level 13. Right that's, a, that's a late exile point. But. Well, could be just in the nick of time. Arteezy though still holding the Aegis here. Kyo is going to engage. Pouncing forward. Or rather blinking forward then pouncing back. And now roll in from Fear, a big commitment into the middle of MVP. That's a bit YOLO. Will he get punished for this one? Looks like he's going to drop. The old man, well, you mentioned balls of steel. I think that qualifies as well, <laughs> but those balls get crushed anyway. Now QO on the chase. He wants to find more here. Latching on to PPD with the blink forward from the pounce. B Universe on the backside going to work with the BKB. Ignoring the untouchable of Bebby. Working his way down onto the enchantress while Arteezy and Sumail combine onto Forev. They're going to kill off the Shaker. Has the buyback. May need to use it. QO. Well, not able to find the Crystal Maiden kill in the end. He has to back away, and they jump onto him. They've baited out Arteezy a little Sumail bit, but Arteezy still in the Aegis. The hero they can't afford to lose is Sumail. Tornado crashing through. Can they lock him down? Ice wall getting dropped once more into the breach from QO. Not enough to finish the job, but Arteezy's Aegis is going to pop now. He had about two minutes left, so it's a pretty big pickoff. Can they kill him again? They want to try. Forev's there. Arteezy popping the ultimate, immediately getting re-stunned, but then pushed back. Looks like he's still going to survive for now. MP laying into him. Plink by plink. Auto-tech by auto-tech. They will try to bring him down. Universe looking for the side swipe here. They might lose Arteezy. This is huge! Forev! Massive echo! Brings down Arteezy. Destroys the Crystal Maiden and sends EG packing. MVP, hang on.
the team they have not the lost a rack. Speaking of Sumail, BKB oh, and Hyperstone ready to go. Okay. And he's coming from the side. It looks like EG want to fight. Fear's in position in the trees, but he's about to be found by Dubu. Scouts him out. The Venge is going to ambush the old man, and instead of getting the jump, he goes down. What a play from the support. Oh, what Swamps swap. Bevy out, runs back in. The QO gets to work now. PPD going to fall. MVP turning this game. Stack by stack, bit by bit. QO, 100 and GLD. Well, this is why you give QO a lane where he can find. They're not done yet. They see RTC. <laughs> oh, very close to canceling that blink. Look at this Slark. 87 stolen agility and hammering at tier twos. Do MVP push it further? Oh, they want kills. I think he's actually going to go for the They're kill They're going to make the move onto Arteezy. Fisher coming through. He pops the ult, but the damage is pretty damn enormous. Alacrity it's chewing kills. through him. QO fairly low, though. He's carrying the gem. He can't afford to go down now. He needs to back himself oh, away. Oh, 20 HP. Oh, QO does make it oh, out. I think Enchantress's last right click wasn't an impetus. It was just a normal right click there, unfortunately. Maybe didn't have the mana. It was close, it looks yeah. like. All of MVP's cores uh, and even their supports remain relevant into the late game, but we're not quite there yet. And EG are on the move. Up to the top lane they go, kick forward, and QO actually pounces into this one. He could be in danger, he's gonna need help. Magnetize coming through. They are gonna swap away to safety, but Arteezy locks on. He just barely gets up the Shadow Dance, sprints backwards. The old man locks on to 4M though. There's the Echo, on to two. QO wants to come back in. He's found the Earth Spirit from the rear, pokes him down with that dagger. Now Universe BKB and wants to retreat. It's three down for MVP. The the man that can't afford to die is Mr. QO. He carries a gem, he carries oh, a hell of a lot of gold, the hopes and dreams of his team, but die he will. It all started with one big kick and an unfortunate yeah. time to pounce forward. Pouncing into the enemy team while stunned. Didn't get off the dark back. Oh, that's that's so heartbreaking for QO. He, he has that, buyback, but the rest of the team yep. doesn't, and the waves are pushing. That fight could not have started worse for MVP, unfortunately. And he buys back. It seems that's enough to deter EG. Oh boy. They see QO in here now, and this this is not a play I can, I feel is a very safe play for QO to make. But hey, they're gonna go for it. They feel like they have to go for something big. EG are gonna make a move to counter this, I can only imagine. Here EG, they come. Even if they don't fully see it, they know, and in fact, they have vision here into the pit, so they know exactly what's happening. Fear's gonna roll in to start it. Oh, QO, QO, this could be a dieback, it is. Dead for 100, and with that, MVP are gonna get routed. Bebby's next. Well, EG have salvaged this one. Live. And they say, screw the Roche, we're gonna take the Rex. You live by QO, you die by QO. It it's started always off. been the way with this guy. He puts his team on his back sometimes, has these, just all, these jaw-dropping performances, but then he makes a mistake like that. Two in a row, and MVP may be done for on the back of that. A lot of pressure on the young player's shoulders. And speaking of a young player, Sumail, he's a veteran at this point, confidently struts forward. They're going to kill off four and straight onto the throat. Unfortunate mistakes. It wasn't even, like, in some ways, EG played in a hell of a game, but QO just kind of giving them a couple of gifts, and it's EG victorious here, going through to the top three of the Shanghai Major. They've still got a lot of work yet, yet to do, even should they beat Liquid. It's going to be a long day for them, but for now, all we can do is take our hats off to EG, as well as MVP, who had an incredible run here. Not just them, but also Fnatic from the Southeast Asian region, going deep in this tournament and showing that there's life. It's revitalized. Yep. SEA, even in defeat, is back. They're expecting to be in the Grand Finals. For this team, it's champions, or well, they didn't do well enough. They're just looking forward now. They're not even like, they, they don't even feel like that happy that they won. It's all business for EG right now. Yeah, maybe maybe if they go into win tomorrow, then they'll, they'll smile, they'll celebrate. But like you said, business as usual. So with that, it wraps up the, the cast for today. But to break down this final match, get ready for Championship Sunday.